I have a completely contrary view on this. I think it's a brilliant idea. It's an absolutely fantastic piece of political uh, ledger domain by the Labour Party. I think to announce a tax which makes 90% of the population feel rather good secretly inside and upsets 10% of them is a terrific idea. And it's a terrific idea because it's completely unworkable. So when Labour get into power, I don't agree with Steve, or I don't think it's workable at all. Uh, they will abandon it, I, I, I bet you now, and they'll have got the votes and then they'll have abandoned the idea because it doesn't work and we'll go back to the two extra council tax bans, which I really do not understand why the Conservative Party won't just give way to and do. So, John, you can well, come first. Well, as I said in my remarks, I think there is a wariness of wholesale rebanding based on the fact that, obviously, you know, it's going to be extremely you know, difficult politically to, to deliver that with the amount of the fact that so many bans went up when it was done in Wales. I think that, the, the, obviously the proposal that's out there to insert additional bans of higher mm. value properties is, mm. is something that will be under consideration. I regard that as separate to, to the wholesale rebanding exercise. So you're and, looking at it, are you? Well, I, I, I mean, I'm not. Uh, no. I'm, I'm not, no. Um, but, I mean, I can see a stronger <laughs> argument for that than, than a wholesale rebanding. But the point, the point here about the so homes might, tax... The Conservative Party the, might come up with... Accept, might find it acceptable to put a couple more bands on top of the existing bands. Yeah, I mean, that, that yes. seems more plausible than anything else that I've seen. What, but what I, the point I want to make is with this homes tax, because it's not just about mansions, it's people's homes in many parts of London. You know, it is totally out of order for retired head teachers or civil servants who bought a home 20, 30 years ago to find themselves in this situation. I mean, that's not fair. Uh, you know, well, it might totally not be, ridiculous. but it's still a brilliant policy, isn't it? Because 80% well, of the silent majority thinks it's rather well, a good no, idea. Well, I no, don't, I, don't, I don't think that... I don't, in certain parts of the country, it will go down very badly indeed. Um, and, but only little know, parts. Sorry? Only small... Only in 20% of the country. All well, I'm yeah. saying is... I, I mean, I, I can see why people talk about retired colonels and things, but most of us who don't own £2 million houses mm. rather approve of it, frankly. Uh, <laughs> and... Um, <laughs> but... Emma, I think it's completely unworkable. Isn't it? You're not going to bring it in, are you? Not I'm, really. I'm really grateful for your endorsement, <laughs> uh, Peter. It's such a fantastic ringing endorsement that I've heard there. Um, I actually agree with Steve that this is a very, very workable. And look, the, the reasons for this are simple. Um, we don't have a progressive taxation system in our country. If you're on the highest band in some of the richest areas of the country where you are sitting on a very, very expensive asset, you are paying similar levels of council tax to if you are in other parts of the country on the highest band. Is that fair? No, I don't think it is. Now, we're asking those whose homes are worth over £2 million, between the over £2 million and the £3 million uh, bracket, to pay £250 a month extra on top of their council tax. This is not huge bucks. And in terms of those who are asset-rich and cash for poor, they will be able to defer payment. So this is absolutely uh, workable and it is an attempt to make sure that we have a fairer and more progressive property taxation system, which we are severely lacking at the moment. Okay.